Hello, I'm Bobsy, and uh, today I'm just gonna go through the basics of making a ball roll around that you can control with your keyboard or a controller for that sake. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that uh, this is just a basic scene setup that I already have. I did that in the first video, which was way longer, going over more of the basics. But in this video, I'm just gonna go quickly through how you make a ball roll around, uh, control it, and follow it with your camera. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're gonna create a new 3D object, a sphere, and we're just gonna call this ball. This ball, it's important that we reset its position first of all. And I just want to place it a little bit above the ground here. Now let's place our camera where we want it as well, compared to the ball. Right now, I don't want it to follow from here. You could do that, uh, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to start by resetting the camera's position. Move it a little bit above the ball, a little bit back, and rotate it so that we are looking down at the ball. Like this. I think that looks quite nice. Now let's add a material to the ball as well. I'm just gonna go to the materials folder. I already have a material here preset up. It's not actually set up. I'm gonna just use the default checker gray. I'm gonna put it to an orange color and add that to the ball. Also gonna make the tiling two by two. So it's easier for us to see that the ball is rolling. That looks like this. Now, first of all, let's uh, focus on making the camera follow the ball. Uh, so let's go to the main camera here. And we want to add a new script that I'm just going to call camera follow. And we're going to open up the script. In the script, I want two things. I want a public uh, transform that we call target, which is going to be in our case, the ball that we're going to follow around. And then I want a private vector three. That's going to be the offset that the camera has in the beginning of the ball. Then the start function, we want to set the offset to be equals to the uh, current transform dot position uh, plus the uh, the target's transform dot position. We do the target position. No, my mistake actually. It's just going to be the transform dot position. That's my bad. The offset is just our current position because we want it to stay where we set it to be in the beginning compared to the ball. So we're going to go to the update function. In the update function, we it's pretty simple. We want our transform.position to be equals to a new vector three that we can now create using our target and our offset. So we want to do target.position.x plus the offset.x. And we want to do this for all of them. So target.position.y plus the offset.y and our target.position.set plus the offset dot set. And this is pretty much it. Now we have a, a basic camera script uh, and that's pretty much all we need for this. If we just go onto the camera here now. And once it's done loading, we add the camera follow script and we give it the target of the ball. Once we press play, you should see that the camera should stay in its current position, looking down at the ball like so. And if we grab the ball now and we move this around, you'll see that the camera will follow compared to where the ball is. So in this case, it will be right here. So now let's focus on the ball. First of all, we want a rigid body because this is what controls the physics in Unity. Let's create a new script that we call the ball control. And I don't know why it's opening Unity every time. We're going to add the ball controller to the ball. Just down here and open up this script. And we want a, a public uh, float. That's just going to be the speed. And we can just set this to, for example, 5 F. Uh, and now we pretty much just want the the update loop. Um, so we just open up the update loop, and in here we're gonna get each of the axes that we're gonna press down. So input dot get axes, and this is a part of Unity's uh, input system. If you don't know about this, you should definitely go look it up. I might make a guide on it in the future, but I'm gonna do horizontal, and then we want to do if it's larger than zero. We know that we are pressing down the D key. We're holding right. So in this case. Uh, actually, my mistake, we, we also want a private uh, rigid body uh, that we're just going to call rigid. And in the start function, we're just going to say rigid is equals to game object dot get component and then the rigid body of our ball component. Like so. So in here, we want to do rigid dot add force. And now we want to give it the direction to add the force in. I don't want this to be uh, in the direction of which the ball is looking because the ball is going to be rolling around and changing its local directions all the time. So I just want to do it in the world space, which is going to be vector3.right. And in here we can multiply that with our speed. 
Um, and this is pretty much it. Then, you know, now we can do it with right. Now we're going to do it with left. So we can do input dot get axis. Whoops. Get axis. Uh, and then once again, we get horizontal. Uh, and then we're going to do smaller than zero this time. And if we open this up, we can pretty much just copy this rigid right here. And we're just going to do a negative right instead. And we're going to do the same with the up and down, uh, which is going to be if uh, input dot get axis. And this time we're going to do vertical is larger than zero. Then we're going to do the rigid dot add force. And this time we're going to do vector three dot forward. Uh, and we're going to time start with our speed as well. And we can actually completely copy this and just write else and put in this statement and do it less than zero and do negative forward. And now if we go in here, let's uh, also add a bit of drag to the ball's rigid body component. This is going to make sure it doesn't roll forever, which is going to make it more realistic. Let me just make it like three. Uh, and if we press play now, you should see that we should also have movement with W, A, S and D keys. So now we're rolling around the ball. You can see that the ball is rolling realistically, which is why I added this material so you could see. And if I let go, it's just gonna stop by itself because of the drag that we have on the rigid body. So this was pretty much it. I hope this was helpful to you. I don't know what kind of uh, problem you're looking to solve. And if you're looking to solve something more specific, please do let me know in the comments and I'll go through that as well. I I'm really trying to look into making these sort of shorter tutorials so it's gonna be easier for you guys to, uh, to follow along and, and pause where you need it, which is why I'm going so fast with these things because I'm thinking that you guys can just pause it whenever. If you want references for the code, let me know and I can definitely add it to the description. But for now, this is very, very basic. Um, so you can just pause whenever in the video, go back, look at it, and uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you. Peace out.